Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm RK. In this video, let's see how to compress and uncompress files using tar command. Tar command is used to group some of the files into an achieve file. By using that, we can merge multiple files and convert into a single file. Here I'm changing to my downloads directory. Here I have four files a.txt, b.txt, c.txt, and video playback.mp4. Let's merge these files and create a tar archive file. For that, we need to use tar and iPhone C is to create an archive and X is to extract. And you need to specify F to give the name of the archive file. Here, name of the file is comp.tar. And here you need to give the files that you need to compress a.txt, b.txt, c.txt and video playback. Let's see the files again. Here you can see that achieve is created comp.tar. If we need to see the process of the tar, we can use the verbose flag. Here you can see that it processes in the same order that we given in the file name. Here tar supports different compression programs like zzip, bzip, lzip, lzma and so on. Like instead of comp.tar, we can specify tar.gz. Let's see the files again. Here you can see that a new file is created. Instead of gz, if you need to use bz to like bz2, we also need to use J flag. Let's see the files again. Here you can see that com.tar.bz2. And we can also list the files in the archive file without extracting that by using T flag like tar iPhone T and V2 verbose and F2 specify the file name. Here the file is com.tar. Here you can see that in the com.tar we have four files file permissions and owner and i already said to compress the file we need to use c flag and to extract the file we need to use x flag let's use x flag tar iphone x bf and com dot tar x to extract the file and we can also give the place where we need to extract these files for that we need to use iphone uppercase c on the location let's use a new directory here there is no directory like new. Let's create that. Let's run the command again. Let's check the new directory. Here we have. And instead of extracting all the files from the archive, we can also specify what are the files that we need to extract. Let's remove the files in new folder. All the files are removed. Now let's run the command again. Here I need to extract only the video playback file. I don't need a.txt, b.txt and c.txt. Let's see the folder again. Here you can see that only the video playback file is extracted. Like this we can also extract specific files from the archive using asterisk or wildcard. Let's remove the files. Tar. Instead of video playback, I need .txt files. Here we need to give a flag wildcard. Let's check the new folder. Here only the files with extension of txt is extracted. And by using tor, we can also add a new file in an already existing archive. Let's create a new file that's image.jpg. Here we have image.jpg. To add a new file, we need to use our flag, our verbose and file. Here the file name is comp.tar. And I need to add file image.jpg. Let's check the file again. Here we have image.jpg in our archive file. And we can also remove the file from our archive using delete flag. Tar delete and the f flag for file name is 
conf.tar and I need to remove image.jpg. Let's check the file again. Here image.jpg is removed. Like this you can do multiple things in tar archive file using tar command. And if you have any doubts ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear it. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.